finally awake, are you? You've been out a full week. You were found unconscious in the ravine near Nurende. I take it that was your home? Nurende? I must ask you to stay calm. Your village is gone. A great chasm over... What's up, Dino? How you doing, Dino? We're doing some setup here. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the music going today. You did get here early. Good, sir. Doing a test with my new mic and headset. Let me know how it checks out. One, two, check. What's up, proper artist? How you doing, proper artist? It sounds good. That's awesome. You're awesome. Thank you so much for being here. We're doing checks on all of the things. Doing checks on all of the things. I'm here. I'm here. I won't be able to get my music going today. I'd I can't, unless you guys can hear it through here. Let me see if you guys can hear it through here. Um, boom, iTunes. Let me get that going. Dino had his Twitch muted. How are you doing, Dino? Let me see if you guys can hear this music uh, through my, my headphones. Or through my, my other computer. Oh okay, yeah, you guys can hear it a little bit. I wonder if it sounds really bad, though. That's the question. <laughs> Hope you're doing well out there, you guys. I'm so glad you're here, proper artist Dino. Doing some stretches, getting set up, making sure my pressure is actually working out. Yeah, and I did already answer, but I'm doing great. Thank you so much for asking. How does the music sound? It doesn't sound too bad? Okay, cool. Megs and Nut! How are you doing, Megs and Nut? I have so much fun seeing you guys in other channels. I am so glad that you guys support other creative streamers like proper artists here. What's up, Desov? How you doing, Monkey Boss? <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, we're using a new headset today. Let me know how it sounds. I look all fancy with it. I look all fancy with the new headset. Beep. Beeps. What's the deal today? I don't know what the deal is today. I'm going to have some fun doing some digital stuff. My arms are bugging me a little bit, so I'm not going to do some uh, traditional painting. I'm going to do some doodles. Maybe we'll do a bit of low frequency. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. We'll turn it down. Yeah, the issue the issue here is uh, I, I can't play music on the same machine that I, I broadcast on. So before I was playing it on a different machine and using my mic to pick it up. Bad sound. Bad sound. All right, cool. Well, we're just going to kill the music then. Bad sound. That should sound a lot better. Should sound a lot better. It should be just me. Nothing else. Hope that sounds better, Mr. Stardust Meatball. Bad sound. No, it should sound good now. That should be good. Should be good. Da Vinci, how are you doing, Da Vinci? You incredible. Stardust Meatball, you. So glad you're here today. Here in the Massiverse. We're getting started here in just a moment. I might just start. 
I might just start here. <laughs> uh, so feel free to put on some music in the background. We're not going to have music today. No music. I'm going to put that in the title. I'm going to put that in the title. No music today. Unfortunately. Uh, Stardust Meatball, how does this sound? Uh, it should be clear through everything. Uh, it should be better now without all the extra music noise. Let me know how it sounds. Da Vinci, how are you doing, Da Vinci? How are you doing, Stardust Meatball? I am in love with the creative side of Twitch. Megs and Net, that's so awesome to hear. There are so many awesome broadcasters out there. I think I saw you today in the Danish guys chat today. Danish guy's a really cool dude I just found uh, recently in the last week or so. Really cool guy. I really love seeing his leather working. All right, I'm gonna grab one. Uh, I'm gonna grab my water real fast, and then we're ready to go. Bacardi Panda, how are you doing, Bacardi Panda? How are you doing? I'll be right back. Gonna get some water, okay, and then we're gonna start. <laughs> Hello, you guys! Oh, man, that's so good that you're doing great, Bacardi Panda. So glad you guys are here. Curse Jen is here! How are you doing, Curse Jen? Alright, I got my water. Let me just get my camera set up. I'm sorry, there's not going to be any uh, music today. I'm going to be getting a new computer any day now. And then that'll be able to, we'll be able to play it. Hit some bars with your buds. That sounds pretty awesome, Da Vinci. Oh, I've been muted this whole time. Oh my gosh, Pirate Drek, how are you doing? A chip man, a spectacular day to you, chip man. <laughs> oh, Dino, actually, so I would love to spend anywhere from 600 to to 1000 I would love to make it as cheap as possible. Uh, I was looking at trying to upgrade my current PC, but I think I might just end up buying a new, a new PC. Wagga bagga wagga. Uh, I do not need a new video card, Kurz. It's all about the CPU. It's all about the CPU with streaming. So I'm going to get a really good CPU. <laughs> wagga, bagga, wagga. Wagga, bagga, wagga. Boom! We're live. Got that video feed. And again, there's not going to be music today. I do apologize. Um, I've, I'm using a new headset, and the, the mic doesn't pick up the music very well. It doesn't seem to pick up. Nice, that's good. That's good. Uh, yeah, so Curse Den, I don't need the graphics card. It, the CPU is what is um, is what you need for for 
streaming stuff as well as um, drawing and stuff like that. Nice headset. Yeah, I got this. I got this headset. This is from all the support you guys have given me. All the commissions, all of the donations and tips have all gone towards getting this new headset. Uh, and I'm also putting that into a computer fund. A new computer fund. Look, it looks very fancy. Actually, it's it's not the fanciest headset, but it is it is a, a decent one. I'm I'm digging it. I think it's the G G430 or something like that. Logitech. Megs and Nut, what 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 could you use some tips on? We're doing just a fun stream today. I'm gonna be doodling. XX Magic Gold, how are you doing? XX Magic Gold. I'm gonna start off with some random doodles here. I'm gonna doodle away. And feel free to put on some music in the background. I recommend some nice DJ Cutman. Or maybe some O O C remix dot org. Very good websites. Painting in silence today, but that doesn't mean that you have to paint in silence or draw in silence. So I'm gonna do a few quick speed paintings here, then I'm gonna get I'm gonna do some drawings and stuff. Megs and Nut, let me know if you have any questions, and if you guys have any questions about art or life in general, philosophy. That's what we're here for. We're here to talk about all those fun things. Just in general, I'm slowly learning about digital. Well, one thing you can do with digital, uh, I would really recommend just playing around. I, I love playing around with just one brush, seeing what I can do with that one brush, uh, changing things like the opacity, the size, um, the bleed effects. I don't know if you're using Photoshop or, or what you're using uh, makes a nut, but in each of the applications, you're going to be able to control a lot of different things. So try one brush, try modifying all of the features of that brush. And also check out Corel Painter. Corel Painter is a really fun uh, application that mimics, uh, you know, blending colors, really mimics each of the brushes. Kirsten! Kirsten throwing your hands up in the air like you just don't care. <laughs> Dude, Kurz, I am so excited for you to come out. I'm going to enjoy having a little break from streaming, refreshing with my buddy, Kurz. If you guys don't know Kurz Jen, by the way, give him a follow. Oh, this is so nice. I don't have to lean over when I want to talk into the microphone. This is amazing. Art Rage 4. I have not seen or heard of Art Rage 4, actually. I have not. Uh, awesome Dino. Yeah, tweet it to me. I would love to see it. Please feel free to tweet that to me. I'll be checking a look at it after the broadcast. You're help hoping to troll while I was on stream. <laughs> Midna Star, I, I see you there. I see you climbing through that window, Midna Star. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing, Midna Star? So feel free to put on some music, you guys, in the background. Uh, my computer can't handle it today. Can never handle it actually. <laughs> uh, I use Corel Painter. Corel Painter is awesome. A really, really good program. Corel Painter. Uh, you can you can get a free trial for thirty days uh, to try it out. It's a really cool program. I like it because they it simulates all of the the brushes uh, from oils to acrylics to airbrush. Really cool program. You can try it out. It's it's a little expensive. It's over three hundred bucks, I think. Uh, but you can always get a student version of it if you're a student. Uh, they also have they always have discounts and stuff on it as well. All right, so I'm I'm a, I'm doing some fun stuff here today. What what do you guys want to see today? This is kind of like a fun day. That scared me. <laughs> I forgot that I changed uh, my vo my computer's voice to a female's voice, and that really scared the crap out of me. I don't even know if you guys heard that. <laughs> it's on Amazon. Awesome, awesome, Dino. I I would love to take a look at it. Love to take a look at it. I need a new computer. I need one so that so that I can actually like do stuff like streaming music at the same time on the same machine. Um, and I also need to do stuff. Uh, with TeamSpeak? I'm not sure if my computer can handle TeamSpeak right now. And streaming, so we'll see. 
I hope you guys are doing well out there in Twitch land. Thank you guys so much for being here today, hanging out with me. It's going to be kind of a chill day, so if you guys have any questions about art, uh, streaming, philosophy, that's what we're going to be talking about today. We're just going to be relaxing, chilling. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change the title. Chilling digitally. No music, unfortunately. Chilling digitally. It's a chill Sunday. Oh, Dino, I will not forget about it. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Be taking a look at specs for the computer. I might end up just buying a new uh, CPU for right now, a new CPU and probably a new motherboard, uh, just because that's going to be, that'll probably be like four or $500 right there, uh, just for those two components. Because I have a decent video card, it's not the best, uh, but I do have a, I do need a better CPU. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Any of you mod swords out there? Any of the mod swords? Let's get some mod swords in chat. Form the shield wall, mods. There's one mod right there. Give Curzgen a follow. He's an awesome programmer here on Twitch. Uh, he also does gaming too, but his programming is so fun to watch. It's so fun to see the process. I seven four seven ninety K. Yeah, that sounds that sounds like like the one I've been looking at. Um, top of the line. Definitely what I want to go for. And it's only the CPU I really need the top of the line for. I've pretty much stopped gaming altogether. I did get the Bob Ross emote. I don't think we can see it on screen, though. Yeah, we can't see it on screen, but I can see it. I can see it on my computer. <laughs> I actually found BTTV was lagging my, my main machine. That tells you how old it is that, that chat was uh, lagging my, my computer. <laughs> Fire Dragon, how are you doing, you amazing Stardust people? Everybody should follow Fire Dragon. He's been doing uh, this really cool... Uh, Batman Superman painting where Superman has, has taken Batman's outfit and he's giving a thumbs up to the to the viewer and Batman's hand is creepily steady, uh, is creepily grabbing his mask really really cool stuff Da Vinci mod sword you don't have a mod sword in my channel Da Vinci not yet maybe if you're an awesome broadcaster and you uphold the status meatball code it could happen Yeah, Dino, my, my, my video card is not the best. That is the best way to, to summarize it. It's not the best, but it's fine for streaming because this is not a GPU-intensive uh, thing. Not Since I'm not streaming video games, I'm streaming uh, CPU-intensive stuff. I just need an upgrade on my CPU. I feel like doing some cartoons today. I'm feeling, I think I'm going to do some cartoons today. I'm a weird... I have a bunch of styles underneath my... my my tool belt, my artistic tool belt. Yesterday, someone was giving me, giving me, uh, I don't know if they were giving me flack or giving me crap for it, but they're like, why, why aren't you doing more realistic portraits? And I had to tell them, it's, I'm just not feeling it. I'm feeling the fun ones. Cartoon hype. TFO Kush, how are you doing, TFO Kush? You incredible being of stardust. You know what I kind of want to do? I kind of want to do a giveaway here. I want I want to do a giveaway. Would you guys want me to do a giveaway? Would you guys want me to do a giveaway right now? I could do a giveaway. Random active user. Let me know what you guys think. Should we do a giveaway? Megs a nut. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for those positive words. <laughs> I dig your style too. I really enjoyed the self-portrait you posted on Creators on Twitch. <laughs> the colors of music are amazing. Oh, thank you. It's, it's a color palette I've been developing for the last few months. You're doing swell, TFO Kush. That is phenomenal to hear. Phenomena. Yeah, Will to Beef. Oh, how are you doing, Will to Beef? One thing about realism I find, and especially with anything in art, is if you do it too too much, if you get too uh, into it. You're going to burn yourself out at some point. That's why I love switching it up, changing it all around, uh, and doing different stuff. A chip man's like, yes, please. 
Please. Okay. Just because a chip man said so. Just because a chip man said so. Boom. Giveaway. Wildebeef. Wildebeef. All right, Wildebeef. You have... You have five minutes, Wildebeef. You have five minutes to tweet me a portrait. Tweet me any kind of portrait that you want done. Five minutes. And if you don't tweet me within five minutes, we're going to have to give away the giveaway. Going to have to give away the giveaway. Storm124, how are you doing, Storm124? So, Wildebeef... Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a giveaway. I'm going to do a portrait. We're going to do a portrait for you. It could be your portrait. It could be a portrait of your favorite streamer. It could be a portrait of your girlfriend, your your boyfriend, your madre, your, your padre. We're going to do a fast portrait for you. Oh, absolutely. Megs and Nut. That's the, actually the best way. Uh, to, to get better and it, you don't have to necessarily get better at that that medium but one thing I find is I'll, I'll practice let's say digital work and I'll have like one of those aha moments where I unlock an idea that I can apply not only just to digital painting but to everything what's amazing about about changing changing mediums and doing stuff that you're not comfortable with is you're going to be activating neurons that you weren't activating before. A portrait of Kappa Alchemy. Do you want to see my portrait of Kappa? Do you want to see my portrait of Kappa? Have you not seen it? Actually, you guys probably can't see that. Let me pull it full screen. Pull it full screen. Boom. Oh, look at how nice and smooth that transition was. Look at that Kappa. Look at that Kappa dance. Look at him dance, that Kappa Kappa. Yes, please. <laughs> you love it. You, no, you don't just love it. You love it. That is awesome to hear, Alchemy. By the way, Alchemy, have you heard about the Create a Kappa contest? We're going back into the computer. Oh, that, just, that transition is so smooth. So smooth. Dat Kappa. Yeah, I still have to post it. I still have to post it on the Creators on Twitch website. Let me show you guys all of the Kappa we have. Uh, we currently have over 50 Kappa. 50 Kappa created. We have three Kappa songs. Monkey Kappa. It's, it's my monkey Kappa. Contest. It's so I, I guess I use. It's not a contest. It's not a competition. Uh, what we're doing is we're bringing the community together, the creative community together, and will to be sent it. We're bringing the creative community together to do monthly projects. This month's project was create a kappa, uh, and we're gonna make a mosaic out of it, which I'm talking to Twitch staff about displaying either on Twitch.tv or at the convention uh, this September. Haley Williams, all right. Wait, is this the right one? Haley Williams? Yeah, okay. Cool, let me save it. Don't forget to drink your water, folks. Don't forget to drink your water. A collaboration, yeah, that's a better way to put it. MK Durr, how are you doing, MK Durr? Uh, although there will be prizes, there will be prizes. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be doing giveaways randomly. Uh, to anyone who submitted, we're going to do giveaways, uh, and that could be uh, a webcam, that could be money going towards your stream, it could be a portrait or something that I do. So we are going to have fun with it, uh, and if I ever, if I raise any money, uh, like if I sell my Kappa, uh, I'm definitely going to put that money towards uh, buying stuff for you guys, for your stream. I'm thinking we're going to do about maybe five giveaways, depending on how much money we raise. Rob Boss. <laughs> Rob Boss. All right. This is for Wildebeef. Wildebeef, you are an incredible Stardust Meatball. Thank you so much for being a part of the Massiverse, a place of positive creativity here on Twitch. It's a little different than the rest of Twitch, so thank you so much for participating in this experiment on Twitch to see if it's possible to create 
PG content here on Twitch. Uh, Dirk McGirt, I don't. I, d I don't like I don't like the uh, the challenge to to do you know gross stuff. You know, oh this 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 painting is epic because I painted it with my own blood. I like to make the paintings epic on their own. Uh, Megs and Knight, and you you have until July thirty first. If you don't like your kappa, you have that much time uh, to redo it. And feel free to post it in the feedback forum, and we can uh, give you some feedback on it. If you're stuck, maybe you don't like an aspect to it, or you don't know what to do. You could also even just start and do a completely new one, if you want. <laughs> Plenty of time. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. <laughs> this is laser. Blade. Blazer. <laughs> That's such a good movie. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. <laughs> what an awesome movie. Wildebeef, it is no problem. It is a problem. You are too fantastic, Wildebeef. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you won this giveaway. Yeah, and f and feel free to do it. Absolutely, Megs and Nut. We're, we're only going to have one spot on the mosaic per artist, uh, unless you're doing a collaboration with another artist. Uh, we have some... 3D modelers that are getting their their 3D models printed out, so they're gonna take up uh, two spots on the mosaic because they're working together. But each artist can submit one finished kappa for the mosaic. You just have to submit it before July 31st to the website, and you don't have to be a a, a broadcaster. You could be a viewer, so you don't have to feel like oh, this is for the broadcasters. This is f highlighting the creative section, but you can participate even if you're a viewer uh da vinci yeah sure if, if you if you have to do a really good impression though you have to do a really good cap impression <laughs> can't just be you sitting there doing a face it's got to be like maybe you, you could edit it so it's black and white and maybe just cut out your head so it's it's a whole new cap head <laughs> It, we might be able to turn it into a blanket or a duvet or something. Um, I'm still, by the way, you guys, anyone who has produced content for the Creative Kappa contest, please hold off on posting it on Redbubble or Etsy. Um, I'm almost certain that you guys can sell the original, uh, but we're still working on getting um, the the official uh, not copyright infringement stuff from Twitch. I'm talking with Twitch staff right now. So please hold off on posting your stuff on Etsy or Redbubble. Uh, I'm almost certain you guys are going to be able to sell the originals, but we're still working with them uh, to, to work out any copyright infringement uh, or any royalties or anything like that. I'm, I'm almost certain that they're going to let us sell our work, uh, but we still haven't gotten the official okay from Twitch. We're working on it, though. We're working on it. We're also working on getting that mosaic displayed. What happened to the mic? Uh, so the mic I'm using now, uh, Leap Tier, is, is a headset. This one's really nice because I can move around. I don't have to stay in one place for it to pick up perfectly. Uh, let me know if you guys like the sound quality on it. I, I unfortunately am not able to play music at the same time um, on the same computer. Oh, thank you, Wildebeef. And if you guys have questions about it, please feel free to ask. I love talking about the process. Here I'm just doing a really quick sketch. Um, one thing I, I see all the time that I'm, I'm trying to kind of react against is I'm not outlining. I'm not just making a line. I can put a line in there and I can kind of move it around by erasing it. Ground control to major mass. <laughs> yeah, David Bowie. I'm actually doing Nifner. By the way, Nifner, hello. I'm also doing a David Bowie portrait right now. Kind of ironic that you bring that up. We're doing a David Bowie portrait from um, uh, Labyrinth. That's what the movie is. It's like your old one. Okay, so Leap Tier, there is no difference in the mic. That's excellent. The only thing that's going to be different 
is I can't play music and have it pick up on the mic. That's what I was doing before. I'm looking to upgrade my computer. That's where all of the donations, all the tips are going into right now. Uh, even the commissions that I've gotten. Fancy new headset. Hype. It's actually, uh, I, I got it for about uh, $45, I think, on Amazon. So it's it's not super fancy. It doesn't have all the buttons on the side. Oh uh, yeah, Megs and Nut. You, you can do that, especially with digital work. You can do that, um, do the outline in black. But I'm a painter. I love painting with blocks of color. Uh, one thing I like to do is I like to lay out where the, the face is going to be with that outline. And then I don't adhere to the, the outline as I, as I paint it. If you paint the outline, what you're ending up doing is you're painting the contour. You're painting, um, you're not painting the form. You're painting uh, the silhouette of the form. So that's why I like doing painting the light and, and developing it that way. <laughs> and Will to Beef, that just takes practice. It, it just takes a lot of practice to know that, um, here, this is how I would have mapped it out if I did it that way. Uh, you map out the plane of the face. You map out the plane of the face. You can use a cube to really block in that, that the skull shape, like this. And then find uh, where the eyebrows are going to go, where the eyes are going to go, where that nose is going to go, and then where the mouth is going to go. That's how you can start off if you want. Let me show you this. You guys can barely see that. So that's how you can start it off um, if you want. You, you don't have to. Uh, once you get, once you start developing... Um, that knowledge of like, oh, okay, this is going to be halfway down the face, and then all of the other features are going to fill up the rest of the face. Once you get that going, you don't have to start off that way. It just takes practice. What, Bjarga? What, Bjarga? How are you doing, what, Bjarga? Yeah, we're doing King Jareth. I think it's right here. Oh, no, I can't, I can't grab it. But we're working on it. We're working on it, Nifner. We're working on it. I'm going to find the light here. Uh, we're going to do some more of the mid-tones, and then I'm going to do some of the, the shadows here. I really want that red hair, that really nice vibrant red hair. What are you doing here? Da Vinci, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here. You guys are all incredible stardust beings. Today we're not doing music, so feel free to play some music in the background. While you listen to me, I won't be offended, I swear. And Megs and Nut, uh, you're always going to find differences in the faces uh, that you work on. It, everybody has different face proportions. The thing you really want to do is you want to use... Um, parts of the face to measure other parts of the face. I like using the eye. The eye is a really good measurement. So for the eye, you're going to have that eye is going to be the same size as the other one, as long as it's not too far in perspective. Uh, if it's a, a straight-on view of the head like this portrait is, the eyes are going to be the same size. You're also going to have one eye in between. Your lips are usually going to be about two eyes uh, wide, depending on how big the smile is. Uh, the nose is going to be about one eye wide. And you can also use the nose. The nose is a really good measurement. The, 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 the length of the nose is going to be the same length from your chin to the, the bottom of your nose. And same thing with the size of your forehead. So try to use the, the, the face that you're working on to figure out the proportions by comparing each of the features to other parts of the face. <laughs> pay up, pay up, pay up. Now what you gonna do with it? Well, what you gonna do with it? Better have my money when I come to collect. Pay up, pay up, pay up. I broke the green screen. I broke the green screen. Shh. <laughs> All right, let's get some nice darkness here. Get some nice darkness. No, it's too dark. It's too dark. 
Sunny Amber, how are you doing, Sunny Amber? You are an incredible Sunny Amber made of stardust. Mojo RP, how are you doing? This is really good, thanks. Thanks, dude. We've only been working on it for a few minutes. Uh, I did a random giveaway. We're going to be doing some random stuff today. Uh, random digital drawings and stuff like that. So I've been working on this for maybe five, maybe even ten minutes. Hope you're doing well, Mojo. Thank you so much for being here. You are an in totally incredible Stardust Meatball. I hope you're having a wonderful rotation on this fine planet we call Earth. Copyright claim by Val Dudes. Actually, what burger? I, I, he, one, one time he was here and I did that, and he was like, oh, it's okay. I know it's addicting. I know you like it. <laughs> so I, I have his permission. Not his explicit permission, but I don't think he's going to sue me. <laughs> he knows that I copy him, and so, and so does a uh, proper artist. Simply phenomenal. Instantly classic. <laughs> Flight GG, how are you doing, Flight GG? Oh my gosh, we have so many cool people. I absolutely love uh, tuning into other creative channels and seeing you guys. It's so awesome. I forget which one, where I saw you last night, Flight GG. Was it in Poker Rangers chat? We were hanging out. Monkey steals all the catchphrases. Yes. Yeah, I'm the coolest cooler. I can, I can do it. I can do it because I'm the coolest cooler. <laughs> It's Death Skull, by the way, if you guys don't know. Are you on Kappas? Oh man, I'm so I'm so on the Kappa right now. Oh, you should feel special, Sunny Amber. You are incredibly special. You are an incredibly special Stardust Meatball. I'm so glad you're here. I'm doing wonderful. I'm so glad you're doing well. Thank you so much for asking. All right, so that's the general form in here. Let's get some more shadow. I'm going to do some purple shadows because you guys know me. You guys know me. I've got that purple shadow addiction. The problem with this photo is, is the flash photography. Whenever you have flash photography, you're going to have a very flat face. So I'm going to make up the shadows here. With flash photography, what you're going to get is you're going to get an explosion of photons. Uh, that flatten out the face. You can see it because there's that really harsh cast shadow on her neck. So I'm going to try to make up the shadows here. Poker Ranger is an amazing meatball. By the way, you guys, did you guys know that there's live glass blowing on Twitch? Poker Ranger 69. If you guys don't know this guy, please give him a follow. Poker Ranger 69 is an incredible, an incredible artist. Uh, every time I watch him, I feel like I'm learning something new about, uh, not just about art and how to craft things, but he's teaching you, he's teaching you his passion. He's showing you all the different ways that you can manipulate glass and stuff. You saw me in Death Sculpt's chat. That's right. That's right. We were hanging out in Death Sculpt's chat. I, I bounce around on Twitch, so I usually don't, I usually don't stay in one channel too often, too long, uh, unless they're doing something that really engages me. It was fun hanging out with uh, Death Sculpts and all of and the and the Death Club. <laughs> Poker Ranger's amazing. And by the way, if you guys don't know about hosting, uh, I host really amazing artists here on Twitch. So if you're ever looking at your follows list and you see no one that you like online or no one you know online, uh, go just scroll down to the host list and see who I'm hosting because I host some really amazing people. Like proper artist and uh, who else out there? Curse Gen. I was watching Mojo RP play some. Uh, I think it was Daisy or H one Z one the other day. And Sunny Amber, you're totally right. It, Poker Ranger does some amazing stuff. Uh, totally, it totally blows my mind how how unique and how amazing the forms he creates are. I mean, I've seen glass my whole life, but I've never appreciated it until I watched him manipulate it and create it right there in front of you. It's so cool to have that appreciation for that art form. Because I, I didn't see it as art before. I kind of saw it as crafting. and Which, that's not to say that crafting is bad in any way, shape, or form. It's just 
I didn't understand how you could be so expressive. You could use you could use the forums how you wanted uh, with glass blowing. So you guys should totally check out Poker Ranger if you don't know him. He's blowing up right now. He's he's exploding here on Twitch. He had like 500 people watching him last night. It was so fun. So fun to be a part of the creative section. It's it's an honor. Da Vinci, I hope you have a wonderful day. I see you, Meatball. I hope you have a wonderful rotation out there on this planet we like to call Earth. I'm going to be doing another giveaway here in a little bit. I'm going to finish this portrait and we'll do another portrait giveaway. This is fun. I'm having fun with this. Um, I'm going to get some. I'm going to get some of my dark purple. And again, uh, I'm not listening to music today. Please feel free to toss on some music in the background. You can do some DJ Cutman is an awesome artist we usually listen to here. Uh, OC Remix. Or whatever you want. Whatever you want to listen to. I'm just sitting here in silence talking to you guys. Dino, how are you doing, Dino? <laughs> that makes it nut. <laughs> too kind. Dusty Weezer, how are you doing, Dusty Weezer? I haven't seen you here before. Lyrium Seeker, lurk away. This is, this is some love for all the lurkers out there. Thank you so much. How come that emote's not popping up? Very strange, very strange. But lurker love nonetheless. All of you lurkers out there, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are all incredible. Mark, Mark, how are you doing, Mark? We're doing awesome here. We're hanging out. We're chatting. We're hanging out with all of you incredible Stardust Meatballs out there. Having some fun. I'm doing some giveaways today uh, where I draw something for you. Just for you. I'm going to finish this up in just a second. We'll do the next one. Yeah, for some reason my emotes aren't working. I can't see anything that Marky, Mark just posted either. Weirdness. How are you doing, Artistic Soda? How are you doing, Mark? Thank you guys so much for being here. It's going to be a chill day today. Uh, my arms are bugging me, so I'm just going to do some digital work. Digital work is a lot easier for me because I get to relax my hands on the table as I work. And I don't have to lift my arms up, move them around as much. So digital work is a lot easier for me. I do try to stay... The same kind of painterly style uh, with digital work. And if you guys have any questions about art, please feel free to ask. I'm, I love talking about the artistic process. So if you guys have any questions. We were talking about how to make the forms of the face earlier, how to sketch out the forms of the face. Maybe you guys have questions about color. Today's going to be a very laid back day. Please feel free to ask anything. Ask me almost anything, of course. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, we can fill in that a little bit more. Fill in the cheek a little bit more here. And I'm making up the shadows on this one uh, because of the flash photography. I find that I, I, I make up the shadows uh, and give it more dimension uh, when they do flash photography. Flash photography kind of float, flattens it out. Curse is going to start streaming Dead Island. Please, guys, give Curse Gen a follow. He's a wonderful dude, an awesome, awesome broadcaster. Uh, he has this really amazing application called Optimalist that is going to be launched uh, here on Twitch. You can try it out if you go into his channel and ask him about it. A to do app to change your life. Curse Gen, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rotation. It also, Christian is also one of my best buddies. I've known him since I was like 14. It's 12.30. You guys know what that means? Hang on, let me finish this this cheek before I forget. And then we're going to take a little break here. All right, guys. Put your pens down. Put your keyboards down. Relax those arms. Just shake it out. Just shake it out. And don't forget, you can stand up. If you can, stand up out of your chair. Stretch out, get those legs moving. And don't forget to drink your water. Drink your water. You can drink coffee. You can drink your rock star if you want, but also stay hydrated. 
And then when you get back into it, when you jump back in to the art or the gaming, whatever it is, you're always going to be more fresh. Everything's going to feel more fluid. You're going to get back into that flow state right away. Don't feel like you're going to be losing any of that focus. You're actually going to come back with an enhanced focus. And Kurzjan, yes, Kurzjan's broadcasts are always fun. He has a great, wonderful energy, especially since he started broadcasting his programming only a few weeks ago. Or juice. Yeah, you could drink juice. Uh, the thing with juice is it's got a lot of sugar in it, and you're going to get that sugar high, you're going to get the sugar crash. The reason I drink water whenever I'm doing something creative is I don't like the crash. The, the high is amazing. Don't get me wrong. The sugar high is amazing. But what you're going to end up with is you're going to end up crashing in about 30 minutes. So that's why I do the water. At least with a little coffee. <laughs> but you don't want to go overboard with the juice or the coffee. Otherwise, you're going to get that uh, the crash. Uh, and that crash for me is, is always debilitating because I, I usually am I'm in a really amazing flow state from the sugar high. And then when I hit that crash, I just get so discouraged Yeah, yours is sugar free. Well, Meg's a nut. You are just a, a perfect, perfect stardust meatball. Perfect nutty stardust meatball. You know how to, how to control your own life. You are the controller of your own life. So if I ever say anything like stand up and stretch or drink that water, and you're like, nah, nah, bruh, I'm not going to do that. You do it. You do whatever you do. <laughs> you amazing stardust meatball, you. We have the same cup, Costco. Is it is it from Costco? A Costco cup? Drink loads of water. And you know what they're finding out? They're finding out that there's not one specific amount of water that you need to drink. It, it's what your body needs. So if you're thirsty or if you're craving something, if you're like, oh, I really want chocolate right now, you're actually, actually craving water. Did you know that? Did you know that? All right, so we're going to zoom out. Oh, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. The chin could be moved up a little bit. The mouth is a little too big. We're going to trim that mouth up a little bit. Trim that mouth. All right. We're going to get the shadow under the nose. Uh, the darkest parts that I like to accentuate on the face, the nostrils are going to be one of the darkest spots. Uh, that area right in between the eyes and underneath the chin. Those are going to be the darkest spots for me. Uh, that helps your eye move around. If you have one of those spots darker than the other, your eye is not going to really bounce around the composition very well. Very well. <laughs> yeah, Meg's a nut. I used to have a big problem with drinking water. I used to be really addicted to uh, Coca-Cola. And I would, do the, I would do the same thing because it's like, oh, this, this water doesn't taste good. It doesn't taste good. Oh, nice proper. Yeah, you should definitely invest in some some new brushes. Definitely. It's it's amazing how much uh, having a good tool really improves not only your your painting ethics but your your mood. I mean, you have that you have a crappy brush that's falling apart on your canvas. Your your mood and your painting aren't are gonna reflect that. <laughs> You're gonna not gonna have as much fun. So having a really nice brush is 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 awesome. Is it the letter P or B? A T U. Oh my gosh, that's really loud! Oh my gosh. Scarface, thank you so much for that follow. You are an incredible meatball made of stardust. Thank you so much for that adrenaline rush that just woke me up. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. We're, we're doing some uh, some fast portraits today. <laughs> oh, man. If we had a heart monitor right now, it would just be like... Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, what burger? And whenever you crave something, drink some water. That's gonna retrain uh, your your brain to to desire that water. I used to have a, a chocolate addiction, but my body didn't realize that it was actually 
I'm just thirsty all the time. All these portraits, there's so many portraits. Yeah, I love doing the portraits. I love doing them fast, too, so I'm trying not to spend too much time on this one. So I can go on to the next one. All right, I'm going to fix the lips. We're going to go in with a more detailed brush, pull out some of the deets. The dirty deets. <gasps> proper artist, ban. Banning proper artist. Ban proper artist. Get out of here. Get out of the Mossiverse. Actually, no, you can stay. You can stay, proper artist. You can stay, because that just means more chocolate for us. More chocolate for us. <laughs> Dang it, I can't see your emotes today. Yeah, Meg's a nut. That's wonderful, wonderful advice uh, from your grandma. You should always drink that water, especially if you're craving something specific. Uh, you can retrain your brain to want water. Retrain the brain. And if you guys haven't figured out, that's what I'm all about here. I'm all about retraining that brain. Bidé Verdu, the French Breton is back. Bidé Verdu, ça va? Ça va bien? What burger? Ha 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 ha. Alright, you guys can stay. Mojo, you're cool. Proper artist, you're cool. You can stay. That just means more chocolate for us. <laughs> means more chocolate for us. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool, I guess. I don't know how you guys don't like chocolate. Like, I honestly... Like, if I get a gift of chocolate, my mood is improved, like, the entire day. <laughs> if I eat chocolate, I'm just a better human. <laughs> Maybe you guys haven't had good chocolate. Yeah, that's probably true. It's it's amazing when you have that high quality chocolate that doesn't have the wax in it that has just all of that oh the delicious bitterness. Why are you guys making me talk about chocolate? I blame you guys. I'm craving chocolate. Drink your water. Drink your water. <laughs> Sour and spicy food. Oh yeah. Oh man, I love the spicy food. Guys, I made some amazing spicy gravy today. Have you guys ever heard of red eye gravy? I made it for the first time today. If you guys have never heard of, uh, well, bis it's biscuits and gravy. It's biscuits and gravy. And then what I did is I added just the tiniest amount of coffee to it. And that's what, that's what you call, uh, red eye gravy. Stop talking about sweets. Yeah, we're going to stop talking about, about chocolate. <laughs> we need to stop talking about chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to double the size of this canvas because I want to get into the deeds here. Bidet Verdu is like, oh, the chocolate is life. It is love. <laughs> uh, Dusty Weezer, thank you so much. Uh, this portrait is of, let me take a look. Haley Williams. It was a giveaway I just did today. We're going to do a few of these today. A few giveaways where you can pick a portrait that you want done. We're going to go in here and get all these the details around the eyes, around the mouth. So let's get let's start with the eye here. We're going to start with the eye. Can make this a little more blue. Pick up the cobblestone, you guys. We need to build the house. Boom. Yeah, so we'll, I'll probably do, we'll say three, maybe three giveaways today. I, I don't know how long I'll be working on this one. Uh, may, it could be, we could do more giveaways uh, if I end up doing these faster. But I'm having fun, giving it lots of love. This is for, I believe it was for what, Biagar? No, uh, Wildebeef. This was for Wildebeef. He picked this one. And if you guys want, please feel free to load up some music. Uh, I'm not able to play music today. You guys can play it in the background. I'll just sit here in silence. And if you guys have any questions about art or life in general, please feel free to ask. I love talking about um, 
the artistic process, creativity. We could even do, I know a bunch of people want, uh, missed out on the crits. I was thinking we could might even take some time to do some of the crits today. Constructive criticism. And if you guys wonder why I zoom out and zoom back in all the time, uh, that's an easy way to, to digitally walk away from your canvas to see it as a smaller uh, painting. You read the forms uh, and all the colors as value. Uh, there's a few tricks to it, so it's a, always a good idea to step away from your work. Uh, and you can do that digitally by making it smaller or having the preview up in the corner. Uh, Dusty, Dusty Weezer, we're working with Corel Painter. This is Corel Painter 2011, <laughs> so it's pretty old. But you can download a free trial of Corel Painter. Give it a try. It is so much fun. They have, I think it's thousands of brushes. Let me take a look. So we have maybe 10, 15, 20, 30, maybe 50 categories of brushes here. Maybe 40 categories of brush brushes here. And then within each category of brush, you have another 50 brushes. So a ton of brushes here to play around with. And each of the brushes you can really customize. That's why I like it more than Photoshop. Uh, I find that with Photoshop, you're really stuck with the, that brush. And you can't... It, it's harder to manipulate the brushes. But I've seen people do some amazing stuff uh, with Photoshop. So that's not saying Photoshop is inferior or anything. I had a lot of fun. By the way, who was here yesterday for the really short broadcast? I had a lot of fun with you guys making the emotes. So thank you guys so much for helping out with all the emote design. Uh, we're we're going to have some really fun emotes. And even if I don't get partnered, which I, I don't plan on getting partnered soon. I plan on getting rejected first a few times. But uh, even if we don't get the partnership, uh, we're still going to get the emotes in better TV, a uh, better Twitch TV. We'll still have the emotes for you guys to play around with. The real reason I want the partnership is because of the encoding options. Unfortunately, the encoding options are, are kind of sketchy. Whenever they get implemented on my stream, I feel like I lose at least a dozen people every time. A uh, proper artist? No, they haven't. Uh, it takes a while. I'm pretty sure it takes a while because they have a lot of partners now. They've even increased their... Um, the, the minimum requirements. The minimum requirements used to be 100 viewers, 100 concurrent viewers. Now it's 500. Now it's 500 concurrent viewers. And that's not just a peak. You have to have that as a stable uh, user base. So they're probably getting a ton of applications for the partnership. So they basically just said, you know what? We're raising the bar. <laughs> raising it up. Raising up the quality of the broadcast here. And I totally understand that. I totally understand that they don't want a million partners. They want a thousand really high quality uh, partners. Yeah, Better Twitch TV. If you guys don't know about Better Twitch TV, you guys should take a look at it. They have not only features for the emotes, but there's a lot of stuff like when I clear chat. It doesn't clear chat for Better Twitch TV. Uh, you can get your name highlighted. I really like that feature. So if anyone says moss or monkey, it highlights it on my screen. A uh, hundred, yeah, will to beef. A hundred was the requirement. I would say maybe two or three weeks ago, they just upped it. They just upped that. And proper artists, absolutely. It depends on the person. It depends on the game. Depends on the content. They even say that within the minimum requirements, uh, the last line of the partnership thing. Basically says, but feel free to uh, to apply even if you don't meet the minimum requirements, because what they do is they take a look at that game. Maybe you're you're in the music section and you only have thirty or forty viewers, uh, but you're producing really amazing content and you're doing it a lot. I'm thinking about the Whittler. Uh The Whittler's an, a, a a music partner here. If you guys don't know the Whittler, please give him a follow. Uh, he's he's a partner. He only has two thousand followers, but his subs he has he has probably as many subs, if not more subs, 
uh, than someone like Death Sculpt, uh, because his community is really tight knit, tightly knit community. Uh, post a link to better TV, Twitch TV. Actually, makes a nut. People can people can just look that up. People can just look it up. If you Google better Twitch TV, you'll find it immediately. All right, we got lots of color in here. Let me get some nice, nice vibrant pinks. Get some nice vibrant pinks in here too. And as always, if you guys have questions about the artistic process or philosophy, if you have a question about life, so we're here to talk about you guys. We can talk about anything. <gasps> Mojo, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let me show you the quality of the t-shirt you're going to get. Let me find it. Let me find it here. Let me find it. Oh, here it is. This is what you're going to be getting. <gasps> Co-Wheeler! Co-Wheeler, thank you so much for that follow. Co-Wheeler, you are an incredible Stardust Meatball, and here in the Mossiverse we can do anything with the collective consciousness here on Twitch. In Heather Gray, this is a shirt designed by ICMZ, a really cool dude here on Twitch, ICMZ. He did this fan art for me. Uh, we, we got it on Redbubble. So if you guys purchase this, half of the money is going to him. Half of the money is going into this stream. So all of these, any, if you buy a shirt on Redbubble, you're supporting not only this stream, but you're supporting ICMZ, another amazing artist here on Twitch. Going back in. Phages Quotebot, hello, how are you doing, Phages Quotebot? You are incredible. Thank you for being here. Sunny Amber, it. I'm so glad you've, you, you've, found the creative community uh, not only is it a great place to see people's passions but we are we're becoming this really amazing tightly knit community where we all know each other I mean I have I have just probably a dozen artists in the channel right now uh, so it's we're supporting each other we're, we're really positive and we're gonna be doing a lot of projects like the create a Kappa project uh, where we we work on the same thing and we work to build each other's channels uh, to to be better. Not only from an entertainment standpoint, but an inspiration standpoint. I was I was hanging out with a proper artist the other day, and he was talking about how he's inspired by us. And and I was just sitting there thinking uh, before he even said it, like God, this is really inspirational. Watching him, uh, you know, sell his artwork, watching him do his passion, and and have people enjoy it. So it's it's something I like to call reciprocative positivity, where that positivity gets thrown around in the community and it just builds and builds into an amazing place. Trent, how are you doing, Trent? Be just quote about you're good. Uh, I'm doing wonderful. Thank you so much for, for asking. What is wrong with my mic? Uh, swag, is, it, is there any issues with it? Are there issues? Are there issues, Swag? And Dusty, not only does the shirt look amazing, it's actually really high quality. And it, when you first buy it, it smells like it smells like chocolate and raspberries. So they they know how to treat the the user. <laughs> Blocky gamer, how you doing? <laughs> Alpaki, you can't find it. Oh my gosh, you can't find a part for your three D printer. That is that is so sad and scary at the same time. You, maybe you could get another. Um, person with the 3D printer to print it for you. <laughs> By the way, how are you doing, Alpaki? Oh, but my old one. Uh, so my old one was picking up noise, like I would hit my microphone a lot. Uh, this one's really nice because I can move around and I don't have to, to talk into the microphone. Uh, there is an issue with it where it doesn't pick up music. Um, I was playing music on another computer uh, because my computer is too old to stream and play music. So that's the only issue I'm having right now with this one, but I, I love it because I can move around and I don't have to always move over here to this stupid microphone, or if I hit it like that, rip your ears, rip. <laughs> that is so frustrating, Alpaki man, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and the problem with 3D printing is it's not, it's not ubiquitous right now, so you can't, you can't just go into the store and say, hey, I need this part for my 3D printer. <laughs> 
<laughs> Magma Monster, I don't know if I said hello to you. Magma Monster, how are you doing? Thank you for being here. We're doing a chill stream today. I'm, I'm having some fun doing some portraits for you guys. I'm going to finish this one up in a few minutes here. And then we're going to do another giveaway. So you can, you can send me either uh, a portrait of you know a favorite streamer, a favorite artist. We're going to do, a, a, do that on stream here. Yeah. What's the headset called? Oh, actually, I should know this. I should know this, you guys. Let me look it up right now because um, I'm going to get that question a lot today. And I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't. It's called the Logitech G430. And I bought it for 58 bucks. I'm really impressed by the quality of it uh, so far. Really enjoying it. Awesome proper artist. I'm excited to see I'm a, I'm excited to see that sponsorship by DX Racer because you know what? They're going to give it to you. They're going to be like, "You know what? If you put that chair on stream, we'll just give it to you." Or we'll give it to you for half price. How does that sound? Half price. <laughs> <gasps> the magical meatball of stardust. Oh, Maz. Absolutely you did it perfectly. You are a fantastic, amazing, and magical meatball made of stardust. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm going to finish up this portrait. We're going to get some deets. Get some more deets on the teeth. And then I'm gonna, we're going to do a giveaway here. I'm going to do a giveaway here in a second. Yeah, 58 bucks. That's a lot of, that's a lot of, uh, a lot of bucks. A lot of male deer went into the making of this headset. Proper is here. By the way, if you guys don't follow Proper Artist, please give him a follow. He works with oils on here on Twitch. Please give him a follow. Mahatma Cat with those goggles. I don't have my glasses here. I don't have my glasses. I do. Mahatma Cat with those cool cat glasses. How are you doing? You incredible Stardust Meatball. Oh man, this doesn't work with my headset. doesn't work with the headphones. But how are you doing, Mahatma Cat? I'm out of water. I'm out of water, you guys. All right, I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to finish this up, and then we're going to go do another one here. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, but I do want to get this, this neck in here a little bit, just a little bit of the neck. And a little bit more of the hair. All right, Willed Beef, I will tweet this to you. Let's do another giveaway here. But I need your help for this giveaway. There's not enough Kappa. There's not enough Kappa in chat, you guys. I want you guys, and, and please spam the Kappa. That's right, I said spam. You can spam the Kappa in the chat. We need to fill that chat up with Kappas so I can do this giveaway here. And while you guys spam that chat with Kappa, I'm going to get some water. Brilliant, Moss. Another beautiful day. Wonderful to hear. Okay, so spam that chat with Kappa. Spam. I'll be right back. Oh no, Nightbot! Nightbot is just going crazy, you guys! <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Everyone got timed out. Oh my gosh, Nightbot. What are you doing, Nightbot? <laughs> Nightbot. Nightbot. Alright, alright. You know what? I'm tired of Nightbot. I am tired of your your shenanigans here, Nightbot. Disabled. 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 All right. 
Did anybody get banned for that? Did anybody get banned for that? <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, sorry about that. Let's do the giveaway. You guys are too amazing. Nightbot is a meanie. I thought I got rid of all the spam protection from Nightbot. Tis a lie. Alright guys, we're doing a giveaway here in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Proper artist. Proper artist, I, you've won, uh, I believe, two or three giveaways from me. Would you be happy? Would you be happy to give away your giveaway, proper artist? I'm happy to do a portrait for you, but I'd love to do a portrait for some of the other people here too as well. Let me know. Let me know. I'm happy. I'm happy to do a portrait for you, but if you want to give away your giveaway, we can do another portrait. <laughs> Nightbot is eliminating everybody. <laughs> We could work on your portrait, proper artist. Y yes, yes, you're okay with giving away your giveaway. Okay. Well, let's give, let's give a big thank you to proper artist by giving him a follow. Give proper artist a follow. That's his giveaway. <laughs> so we're doing, we're doing that. And then what we're gonna do? We're gonna start a new giveaway. All right, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Boom, boom. The Blocky Gamer. All right, Blocky Gamer. You have five minutes to tweet me a photo. Five minutes to tweet at Monkey on Strike a photo. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on this one just a little bit more. Hello, hello, Austin with, with Hey, with A24. How are you doing? We're doing a giveaway here. <gasps> Blocky Gamer has not claimed his prize, guys. Guys, we're going to have to give away the giveaway. He has 30 seconds. Blocky Gamer has 30 seconds to claim it. He has 30 seconds to claim it. He has not claimed it in chat. Maybe he's already trying to tweet me. Uh-oh. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. One. Austin with a Y. I see what you did there. I'm doing, you're doing great. That's amazing. I'm doing wonderful. Thank you for asking. He is not here giving away the giveaway to Alpaki. Alpaki, my buddy, my pal, Alpaki. Claim it in chat every time. All right, Alpaki. So you get to tweet me a photo. You have five minutes to tweet me a photo. Five minutes. Count them. Count them down. Five minutes. It could be a portrait of you. It could be a portrait of your 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 friends. It could be uh, someone you really enjoy as a streamer, as a musician, as an artist. Uh, it, it has to be one person, uh, and you have five minutes to tweet me. Five minutes. Five minutes is enough time, right, to make a Twitter account, even if you don't have a Twitter account? Five minutes is enough time. All right, let's get some specular highlights. We're going to get some specular highlights. Make it nice and small. What? That's pink. That's a pink color. Undo that pink color. There we go. There we go. Specular highlights, by the way, are the really strong lights on shiny surfaces. So you'll have the shiny surfaces on the nose, on the eyes, and on the lips. Specular highlights give it that really nice 3D effect. Oh, Technotron, thank you. Thank you for sharing your music with us. Everyone, please give Technotron a follow. Not only does he do art here on Twitch, not only does he do... Siri, you just interrupted me, Siri. Not only does Technotron do gaming and art here on Twitch, but he also does music. And I, I was fortunate enough to, to check out his channel earlier today. Please give him a follow. He's an awesome dude here on Twitch. He did a really cool topography uh, thing for the Create a Kappa project. Really cool stuff. Cool stuff, cool guy. And we love you. We love you, Technotron. 
All right, she's got she's got very interesting teeth. I don't want to do the gap. I'm I'm going to try not to do the gap in her teeth. I'm going to emphasize it just a tiny bit though. Oh man. Not sure if what you sent counts. Did you send me a picture of an alpaca? Alpaki. Alpaca. Notifications. Yes, it does count. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's great. This is great, Alpaki. Thank you for challenging me to do something that I wouldn't normally do. Uh, Alpaki, you've been here since the beginning. I absolutely appreciate you coming back and being amazing. Panda Snake! Panda Snake! How are you doing, Panda Snake? I remember you. I know you. I remember you asked about doing a tutorial uh, of trees in perspective, and I think I wrote it down somewhere, but I never got to it. I remember. But Kappa, <laughs> this is great. Okay, oh, man, this is wonderful. This is wonderful. Here, can I show it? I can show it like this. And I'm Becky. <laughs> Alpaki's alpaca. All right, we're going to get into it. And by the way, you guys, I, I do apologize. There's no music today. Please feel free to put on your own music in the background. All right, we get the, we're going to get the mouth in here. We're going to get the really simple mouth in here. Of course I remember you, panda snake. It was, it was only but two Tuesdays ago that you asked, asked me questions but I never responded I remember you what's up twister we're doing just just you wait you're just you wait you'll see in a few seconds <laughs> I'm doing random digital stuff today my arm is bugging me so I'm not going to do painting but digital stuff is a lot easier for me to work on because I don't have to move that much so what we're doing here is we're having some fun doing some giveaways uh <laughs> you guys are sending me drawings to do <laughs> Doing them really fast. The alpaca. What's up, Master CJ? How you doing, Master CJ? I know I say this a lot, but it's it's amazing that you guys are coming in here, hanging out with me. Thank you so much for being here, Master CJ. Twister, what beggar, panda snake. Thank you guys so much for being here. You guys are all incredible. <laughs> he looks like he just woke up. Like he's like. Argh. I don't I don't want to wake up. Although he's got like a really cool haircut. <laughs> right. We're going I'm going to have fun with the colors on this one. Um let me I need your help you guys. I need your help. I'm definitely going to do purple here. What color should I do with the purple? My friend made a program that contains 3,000 alpaca photos. <laughs> that is amazing. That is amazing. Oh, Megs and Nut, that is all thank you to you. You are, I see you, I see you incredible meatball out there. You're the one who makes it this incredible, incredible place to be with all the good vibes. What's up, Junior? How you doing, Junior? Junior eight zero nine six green alpaca is just like just do green. Should I do green, you guys? Orange. See, Megs is a nut knows my color palette. Should I challenge my color palette and do green or yellow? Ooh, if I did yellow and purple, that would be pretty cool, actually. Yellow and purple are uh, complementary colors, so that would be a really fun painting. A nice duo tone. Duo Tone Limited Palette. And as always, if you guys have any questions about art or life in general, that's what I'm here for. Rainbow color. Twister's just like, you know what? We're going full-blown cap of pride here. Junior, that's so good to hear. I'm so glad that you're doing well. I'm so glad that you're doing well. You know what? We're going to do a, a vote here. We're going to do a vote here. Uh, poll, open, yellow, 
green or pink? Yellow, green, or pink? Because I do orange a lot. Nightbot. Nightbot. Oh, there it goes. Okay, guys. So what you're going to type is you're going to type slash vote or exclamation mark vote. And then one, two, or three. Exclamation mark vote. And then one, two, or three. One is yellow, two is green, three is pink. Hello, Serve! How are you doing? Everybody, please follow Serve. He's an awesome artist here on Twitch. Serve is a really cool dude. I've really been enjoying uh, watching his color work. Uh, he does a really cool technique. Colored pencil on tracing paper with really vibrant colors. You guys need to check out Serve. Uh, he's a really cool dude, too. Really cool dude. But what's happening? Serve is like, what are, what are we voting for? So, uh, Serve, I asked them uh, what color I should use with this purple. Since my color palette is always pretty much purple and orange, we're challenging it. Uh, green is a color I never use. Let's see how many votes there are for green. Three votes for green. Oh, six votes for pink. There we go. Panda Snake's like, I can't pick. I can't choose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go really big brush, really big brush here. Uh, stubby blender. No, we're just gonna use a stubby blender. Yeah, there we go. Stubby blend all this in here. Blibbity blib, blibbity blib, blibbity blib. We're gonna get some colors in here. Get some blues, some grays. We'll lose the form. Don't worry, guys. We're losing that form. That's fine. Painting is a process of layering. It's okay to lose some information. All right, guys. I'm going to close the polls. Is this a Yeti? <laughs> it's an alpaca. All right, guys. We're going to close the polls. Pull. Close. What? What? Oh, oh. Pull close. Not vote close. Three votes for yellow, three votes for green. We've got six votes for pink. Pink is a winner. I should make a Chewbacca. <gasps> I could make a Chewbacca. I've never really done any fan art, like Star Wars fan art, but that sounds like it could be really fun. Serve, you have a Cintiq and you don't do digital stuff? My God, Serve. Uh, I would really recommend uh, trying out all of the different programs. A lot of people are like, oh, I got to do digital stuff, Photoshop. There are hundreds of applications out there. The one I'm using is called uh, Corel Painter. And you can get a 30-day trial for Corel Painter. It's really fun to use. They have so many presets that I haven't even used them all. Winna winna, chicken dinner. Yeah, paint sci. I have not checked out paint sci yet. That's another program I haven't checked out. Dare Bobble, how are you doing, Dare Bobble? You are an incredible, fantastic meatball made of German stardust. <laughs> Megs, Megs a nut. Yes, you win. You win. I mean, I mean, I mean, cool. It's, it's, it's like no big deal. Oh, yeah, so the serve, the amazing thing about Corel Painter is that you get all of these brushes. You get everything from acrylics to airbrushes to FX brushes, blenders, um, oil paints, palette knives. I use the oil paints, and within the oil paint section, there's like 20, 30 brushes, and you can customize all of them to do really fun things. Photoshop is so much fun when you have a goal. I, yeah, I would actually agree with that. I would definitely agree with that. Painter, this this painting program is good when you don't have a goal for what you want to do. <gasps> penguin, Penguin Mooty, how are you doing, Penguin Mooty? You are an incredible stardust being. Thank you so much for being a part of the Moss of Us. All right, so let's go back to the drawing. We're going to go back to the drawing. I didn't like how big his mouth was. We're going to trim down his mouth a little bit. Trim down that mouth. Trim down that mouth. We're going to get a 
deeper blue, deeper purple blue here for the, the shadow, the cast shadow underneath there. B. Bartles! B. Bartles, it is an honor. It is an honor that you come in here and say hello to me. How are you doing, B. Bartles? I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> I'm so glad you are here. Is that an angry koala? No, it's uh, we're doing a an alpaca, an alpaca for alpaki. <laughs> we're working on it. It's a work in progress, you guys. It's a work in progress. When someone in your house makes cupcakes, then leaves the house with them, time to riot is what I say. Time to riot. That's the time to, to chase them down in your car, steal their cupcakes, and return home with your bounty. It does hurt. That hurts. <laughs> Mahatma Cat has experienced the burn. <laughs> Mahatma Cat has experienced the burn of not eat, getting to eat the cupcakes. I'm changing the perspective on this. That's fine. It's okay to change perspective on things. You just got to stay consistent with it. So I'm going to try to stay consistent. <laughs> Finishing a dress today. B. Bartles. Why are you not broadcasting this creation of this dress? B. Bartles. B. Bartles. I hope you do. I know you. I, I know. I know you should. Um, let me see here, we've got some stuff we can trim off, we can trim off that, we can trim off this a bit right here at the top. Make it look a little more up back and make that a little more rounded, a little more rounded there and curly. We need some curls in here. Some curls. It's hard to stream, but people would love to see the process. Uh, we, I don't think I've seen anybody actually making... Uh, there's there's cosplay artists out there, but I don't think I've ever seen someone doing all that. Well, B. Bartles, you should think about streaming it. There's an explosion of creativity here in the creative section. We need all of you blacksmiths out there, all of you plumbers, you bike repairmen, you dressmakers. We need all of you guys to start broadcasting your content here on the creative section. We, we want to see your passion. We want to see it develop. And worst case, you try it out and you don't like it, and you just stop. <laughs> oh man, these these headphones aren't actually the most comfortable headphones in the world. Mick Lynx, how are you doing, Mick Lynx? We are working on a portrait of an alpaca. I'm doing some user requested, or actually no, it's it's giveaways. We're doing giveaways today, and that's how you request something. And there's no music today. I do apologize about having no music today. F feel free to go on YouTube or whatever and put some music in, in the background. There is going to be no music. <gasps> Serve. I would love to see an origami stream. Oh my gosh. I there's so many there's so many things that I want to see here on Twitch. I want to see a magician here on Twitch working. I I want to see so many people doing it. Oh, alpaki, so people get salty. Don't worry about the salty people. You're doing it for the people that want to be there. If you find someone that's salty, just slash ban. Get them out of there. Because what you want to do in your channel is always make the content about your passion. If people are like, uh, oh, why are you doing this thing? Then just be like, hey, there's, there's 100,000 other streamers out there. There's 10,000 streamers live right now. Go somewhere else. Get out of my get out of my house. Tattoo artist would be cool. Uh, Mick Links, we are working, we are working to get that to happen. Uh, here's a few tattoo artists. If you need to know some tattoo artists, uh, Rich and Gigi and Gigi Rich both do uh, and Cause One. Cause One. All of those are tattoo artists here on Twitch, but we are trying. We are trying to get the official okay from uh, the Twitch, um, the Twitch lawyers essentially, uh, because unfortunately, uh, right now tattooing is viewed as bodily harm, 
and it's kind of a gray area. Oh, thank you, Alpaki. Yeah, I'm having fun with it. The point, the point is you got to have fun. If you don't have fun with it, it's going to show. <laughs> yeah, it's turned out okay. I'm going to stop using this black to define the shadows. Master CJ? Nothing much. It's going well. Thank you for asking. Yeah, and unfortunately, there's uh, Rish, GG Rich, and Cause One all do tattooing live on stream. It's kind of a gray zone right now, uh, but we are working with Twitch staff. So if you guys, uh, I know Serve, I know you're a tattoo artist. I'm not sure if you saw. Um, we have a thread going. Is live tattooing allowed? Let me see if you responded to this. No, you didn't. Okay. So this is as Twitch staff. Is live tattooing allowed? So I would really appreciate uh, all of you professional tattoo artists out there. If you wanted to share your, your thoughts on this, creatorsontwitch.com is a website where we're bringing all of the artists together. We have two Twitch staff members that read it and respond to the threads. So if you post there, if you post an appeal to Twitch staff saying, this is not bodily harm, this is an art form, uh, please make a way to flag the tattooing as uh, mature content and invisible to uh, the rest of Twitch, and, and you're only able to view tattooing if you're over 18. If all of that happens, we can have tattooing on here and, and not have it as a gray zone. So if you're a professional tattoo artist like Serve out there, please feel free to post your comments uh, on that website. And it's absolutely, and serve, it's, it's not that they view it that way. That's kind of how the lawyers are classifying it. And it's an art form that has not only a willing participant, but it's, it's an art form that is a form of expression. And it, we, we, there, there's a post on there by, um, <laughs> yeah, serve. And I, and, and, uh, and please, please understand that I absolutely support it. That's why I made that thread. That's why I got Twitch staff involved. Uh, we really need to show to show them that it's an art form, and if you think it's bodily harm, it should be flagged as mature content. Um, and if that's flagged as mature content, and you have a little say thing saying, I'm a professional tattoo artist, uh, I, I have a license for it every year, I take safety tests and all of that, and you also say, I'm a professional, don't try this at home. If all of that is said, we should be able to do these things like tattooing and stuff on stream. And absolutely serve. And it, it might just be that you have to include something in your profile saying, like, I'm a professional, don't do this at home. Uh, you have to be a licensed uh, professional tattoo artist in order to do this. If all of that was said, I feel like Twitch staff is going to uh, appreciate it. Because right now they, they kind of put it in this lump category of bodily harm, and it's absolutely not. It's, the, it's a, a wonderful art form that, as you said, serve is mainstream, and everyone does it. James NC will be streaming classical guitar. B. Bartles, do you know when? Do you know when? And Dino, uh, Miss Cookies, uh, who's an amazing broadcaster, is going to be doing some outdoor camping. I think she's doing it for three days with two other Latvian streamers. She's, she lives in Latvia. So that's going to be really fun to see the next few days. Serve. Actually, that's, that's, that's something that hasn't been brought up. Um, maybe you could... Um, yeah, yeah, that's something I, I, I might think about bringing up. Feel free to bring that up in the, in the forum. There needs to be a way to prove that you are a professionally licensed tattoo artist and that it should be okay for all professional tattoo artists, as long as they have, you know, the, um, the, the tattoo E, the person who's getting tattooed, as long as you have their permission, it should be, it should be okay to broadcast it. Thank you, Twister. Thank you. It's, it's getting a little weird in spots, but that's fine. My art is all about being weird. Dude, bro party massacre. I, I, I don't think so. I don't think you should. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a good movie. Personally, that's that's my personal opinion. 
course. All all opinions on here are my personal opinion. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate you guys being here. And all of you broadcasters out there like Serve, please feel free to say hello in chat. We want to give you guys follows. Uh, I'm all about sharing uh, the creative community with you guys because a lot of you guys don't know that we have artists out there like Serve uh, doing amazing work, amazing drawings in preparation for his tattoos and stuff. I like we're good panda snake. We get a little weird here. Get a little weird here in the Massiverse. That's fine. It's okay to get weird. Yeah, serve. So I, what you brought up, that's a really great idea, is to bring all of those certificates and have a way for Twitch staff to verify them. Because honestly, there's not going to be a lot of tattoo artists that end up uh, streaming their stuff. But the ones that do need to be verified in some way. That's a really good point. There's proper artist. You guys, give proper artists to follow. <laughs> give proper artists to follow as well. He just had a birthday just the other day. Such an awesome dude. You guys got to support him. All right, let me get some hair on the other parts of the painting. You don't want to focus the details on a painting in just one spot. Uh, you kind of want to bring those details all over the painting. Have the same kind of treatment all over. Bring some shadows, bring some highlights down here. Uh, Serve, are you talking about Dave Tattoos? And uh, what's interesting about Dave Tattoos is I think he's, he's heard that you're not supposed to do live tattooing on Twitch, and he doesn't do any of his tattooing, he just does his drawing on Twitch. I, I want that to change. I actually messaged him. I, I said, we would love to hear your thoughts on the, on the same thread that I linked to you. Uh, I never heard back from him because I assume he's super, super busy. Yeah, Dave, Dave Tattoos. Uh, what's incredible about his stream is that he probably posted it on his Instagram or on his Facebook or whatever. And almost, I'd say almost 90% of the people in that channel had made accounts on Twitch just to see him. So I thought that was so cool. I thought that was an incredible way to bring new people to Twitch is to get that famous artist uh, out there with, with a following already. Woo, that plug though. Of course I'm going to plug you. Megs and Nut, unfollow him. Megs and Nut, unfollow him and refollow him. He deserves it. <laughs> All right, we're going to get that nose in there. Okay, you guys want to do another giveaway? Do you guys want to do another giveaway? Let's let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Boom, cropped. Save as alpaca. Alpaca. All right, guys. So let me try another thing here. Uh, can one of you guys try spamming a bunch of Kappa? Try spamming a bunch of Kappa. Let's see if Nightbot nerfs you. Let's see if Nightbot nerfs you. I'm going to get a little highlight on the eyes. Tiny little highlight on the eyes. Oh, it's black. You can't do a black highlight, silly goose. What? Come on, Mahatma Cat. I'm sorry about that. Mahatma Cat. Come on, Nightbot. I don't understand why Nightbot is freaking out today. Link disabled. Silent timeouts. Keep the chat clean. Caps protection. Custom limit save. Symbol protection. Emote protection. Repetition protection. Oh. oh, okay. All right, try it again, you guys. Try it again. Try it again. Unban Panda Snake. <laughs> Unban Alpaki. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. <laughs> Nightbot is a is a chat bot uh, that 
just fails at life sometimes. There we go. There's the Kappa Spam. All right, you guys. Nightbot is also really good for doing giveaways. Going to do another giveaway right here. Random active user. Boom. Serve. <laughs> Alpaki. The, the spam is strong with that one. We appreciate the spam when we ask for it. So serve, please feel free to tweet me a picture in the next five minutes, either a portrait, um, anything you want done, essentially. Anything you want done. We'll do it here on stream for you. And also feel free, if you want serve, you can always give it away. You can give away your giveaway. If you don't want it, if you're having a hard time picking what you want. It looks like he just woke up. <laughs> So much spam in the channel. Thank you guys so much for spamming away. I love you guys so much. You guys are always participating in my experiments, whether they're art or other random things that we do here. Just testing your limits. Absolutely, Alpaca. John JDC. Bringing that cap of love in there. <laughs> what are those other emotes you're using? <laughs> Yeah, the, see, Nightbot, Nightbot lets, lets everything go, but only when I ask. <laughs> only when I ask nicely. All right, so serve, it looks like you're not claiming. Serve, you have 40 seconds to claim. If you don't claim it, it's going to go. Clapper. <laughs> Clapper. <laughs> So serve, uh, you have 30 seconds to claim your, your portrait, your painting. And then you'll have five minutes to tweet something to me. Or if you want, I can just give it away. Kappa? Kappa. 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 You guys are too amazing. Mags Rags, you are incredible. Thank you so much for being here, Mags Rags. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh-oh, Surf has not claimed it. He has not claimed it. It's 20 seconds. You guys are incredible. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, by the way, to all of you artists who have created Kappas, to all of you artists who have created the Kappa, I got that sub in your face! Now what you gonna do? <laughs> um, to any of you guys who have created Kappas, please hold off on putting them on Etsy or uh, Redbubble for mass production. We have to clear it from Twitch staff first. I'm still waiting uh, if there's any copyright infringement. Uh, you'll probably be able to sell the original if it was a drawing or a painting. But please hold off if you're gonna do mass production. Too much pressure. All right, guys, we're gonna give it away, give it away. We're gonna give away the giveaway. Giving away the giveaway. Dino. Dino, pick a drawing you want me to do. Dino, pick a drawing you want me to do. Kappa? Time to do it. We've already done the Kappa. I've already done the Kappa here. You guys can see a close-up of my Kappa. Kappa, 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 Kappa. Hello, Kappa. How are you doing today? Would you look at it? Uh, Flight GG, absolutely. And if you guys have uh, any questions or uh, feedback, there's Dino. There's Dino. Feel free to tweet me something. If you guys have anything uh, you want me to look at and give you guys feedback on, we do Feedback Friday. We also have a place. Thank you, Siri. Siri, you're the best. You are amazing, as always. Uh, we have a new forum that we ju I just put up called the Feedback Forum. So if you guys have anything you want uh, to share, uh, you can post it on the Feedback Forum. Oh my gosh! Sedoris. Oh. Sedoris, <laughs> you just... Whew. Sedoris, you are an incredible Stardust Meatball. Thank you so much for being a part of the Massiverse. You are amazing. My fan magical eyebrow friend. <laughs> I'm doing 
great, Magzrax. You are always incredible. Sindoris hides and watches. Well, thank you so much for being here. You, All the lurkers out there, lurker love. Thank you guys so much for being here. Yeah, you guys, I really do apologize about that. I hope it wasn't too loud. Let me turn it down. I turned down the notifications, so it shouldn't be as loud now. It also shouldn't be as loud for me. So that'll help. <laughs> Raging alpaca. Here, I'm gonna cut off that bottom part. We're cutting off the bottom here. Boom. And I'm gonna fill in this. Sent you a tweet. Excellent. Most excellent. We're gonna get to it right now. Let me just do some more hair here so it doesn't look so flat. If you guys are new here, I'm Monkey on Strike or Moss, M O S. You guys feel free to ask me any questions about art or philosophy. If you guys are new here, please check out the rules. This is a curated and editorialized environment here on Twitch where we can be awesome and original. But we're also a clean place here on Twitch. Oh, thank you, Pyrotrek. How goes the day? It goes great. It goes almost as good as Great R. Great R, how are you doing? We're doing some fun giveaways today. By the way, you guys, please give Great Greater a follow. He is a broadcaster here on Twitch. Let me find, let me find the tweeter, the tweeter. Notifications. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, Dino has, has requested this. We're doing it. <laughs> We're doing it, Dino. Just for you, Dino. <laughs> Taking to heart what we're talking about, uh, proper proper is that what what we talked about in terms of interacting more and doing less art? Is that what we, what you mentioned? Close this up. New. Yes, absolutely proper. We'd love to see that retro painting for the August. Uh, paint something inspired by a broadcaster. You tweeted me a picture. I'm going to take a look at it real fast. Uh, actually, uh, Flight GG, I'm going to take a look after the broadcast. That's usually when I look at them. Sorry if I made it little. Well, I'll make it little too. We're going to make it canvas size. Resize that to 1,000 by 500 so I can paint super fast. So it's super tiny. Uh, I'm going to change the size from the right side. We're going to shave off 250 pixels, not add 250 pixels. Minus 250. Oops, 250. There it goes. Okay. So let's paint super fast. Salmonos, how are you doing, Salmonos? Salmonos, of course I remember you, Salmonos. You are the nose guy. You are the hype man. <laughs> All right, so with a painting, you always want to do things that are going to be in the background first. And the way I like to do it is I like to go over the entire painting. So I'm going to do that background first here. We're going to start off with just a really simple orange and a simple green color here. So boom, I already have a landscape. I'm done. I can walk away. We're good here. What we can do now is we can start editing things. So maybe I want that upper part of the sky to be more red. Maybe I'll make it a little darker red up here. Like it fades into a really nice kind of bloody red. And then maybe it gets a little more yellow down here. So we're going to add some yellow. Uh, Wildebeef, yeah, I'll post them on Twitter. I will retweet, the, or I'll tweet them at you. Uh, can we see what Dino wanted you to paint? Yes. Um, not easily. <laughs> not easily. That is what he, what I'm painting right now. Have you done any more Freaky Friday? Salmonos, we, we haven't done a Freaky Friday, but we did do some secret broadcasts. 
Uh, we did one the other day that was a very special one for a uh, proper artist. We did a raid. It was a 20 minute long broadcast where we got about 20 people to go and raid proper artists for his birthday. It was phenomenal. So much fun. Brought the hype into his channel. All right, so really simple shapes, uh, large strokes. That's how you can start off your painting. Uh, and then you can start going into the details. But what I like, I love to do first is I love to treat the whole canvas. So we just did the whole thing. I'm going to make it bigger up here. Canvas resize. And we're going to go 2K. Yeah, perfect. I look swag. Do I look swag here? I can fix it even more. We can fix it even more here. I can look even more swag. I, I don't know where my glasses are. I don't know where they are, you guys. I can't find them. <laughs> and by the way, there's no music today, so feel free to put on some music, uh, maybe on your YouTubes, your SoundCloud. Proper Artist is an awesome guy. If you guys don't follow him, give him a follow. He does oil paintings. He's working on this Joker painting right now. It's really cool. Really awesome stuff. Resaturation, bring it down to 4% so we can get a nice, a nice smeary stroke here to really emphasize that, that sky color here. We're going to get rid of these strokes. You are my music. <laughs> la la la. Dun 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 dun. John Snoo. I don't know why I went to Game of Thrones soundtrack. Dun dun da da dun dun da da dun dun da da dun. I know nothing, John Snoo. What's the original image? The original image is right here. Right there. So, background first. We did the very, very back of the sky. I'm not going to do any details down here yet. Uh, we're still, we still have to develop that orange in the sky. Actually, it's more of a magenta. No, it's more of a blood orange. Okay. I'm going to get that orange over here. We can always go back and fix. You want to do big strokes at first. You want to try to treat the whole canvas at the same time. I'm not just coming in here and drawing the little cabin in the back, working on all the little details in the back. You want to do the whole canvas at first. And then let's do some clouds. So the clouds are kind of a muted purple. Do I know Death Sculpt? Of course I know Death Sculpt. In fact, oh, I can't, I can't show it. Uh, I have a painting I did of Death Sculpt that he's, uh, he's going to hopefully buy from me. <laughs> a, a portrait of him and Tiger Rider, actually. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's get this a little more muted here. All right, so doing stuff in the background first, building towards the foreground. And yes, his beard is amazing. It's totally incredible. <laughs> yeah, Panda Snake, this one's going to be a, a harder painting. This one's going to be a harder painting. Uh, it's With a portrait, all you have to worry about is the background and the foreground. This one you're going to have to worry about background, foreground, middle ground, perspective, uh, a sense of lighting as it goes through the entire thing. And things like the green here, I'm going to paint into the green uh, for the clouds, and then I'm going to paint over it. That's a technique you can use in traditional painting, where you work uh, backwards and you slowly build up on top of it towards the foreground. Sunny Amber, yeah, these kind of skies are really fun. Uh, they're really expressive because you get a lot of color in them. You can get a lot of movement with all the clouds and everything. These are really fun, uh, the gradients to do. Freehand, freehand? What do you mean freehand? By the way, hello, the fat carrot. You are an incredible starter's meatball. I'm going to get some darker blue underneath the clouds, give it that nice dimension. It's, 
the only reason. Yeah, his beard is the only reason. You know what, Twister? Uh, he he trolled all of us. He trolled me included. Uh, he posted a picture with no beard on his Twitter account. He totally trolled all of us. I was telling everyone that he, he cut off his beard. <laughs> Saminos, I hope you have a wonderful day just for you. Just for you. Oh, I can't put it on with this headset. But you get the point. Just for you, Saminos. I got that creeper in your face. I got that sub in your face. Panda Snake, I do giveaways uh, when they get unlocked by the viewers. Ori, how you doing, Ori? I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> so we do giveaways when they're unlocked either by raids. They can be unlocked by raids. They can be unlocked by... Going over a hundred viewers, they can be unlocked in many ways. And it also depends on the day. Like Feedback Friday, we don't do giveaways. Uh, and then sometimes I do th things like this. Activities where I do giveaways. Uh, I'll probably do about three or four giveaways today. Use pastels. I love pastels. You can get some amazing colors with pastels. Sunny Amber. Or, or when I swear, exactly, Samados, if, I, if you guys ever catch me swearing on stream, I do a giveaway. Or I did study art. I've studied art uh, at UC Davis in California. I, I studied there for about a, two years, year and a half. Um, I also studied in France and a little bit in Italy. In Italia. Absolutely, Alpaki. Absolutely. Uh, I'll tweet it to you after the broadcast. Tweet it to you after the broadcast. Let me get rid of that. Okay, so let's take a look. I love taking a step back from your work. You, you really get a sense of um, the whole picture. It's also a good way to see if you do any mistakes. Like, I think the... Uh, what I'm going to do, since it's digital work, I'm just going to chop off that bottom. Yeah, I like that better. Do you p paint faces to do a giveaway? I do. In fact, we just did a we just did a few faces. Let me show you what we just did. We just did this alpaca. <laughs> that alpaca actually turned out great. It actually turned out really good. <laughs> oh, that's a swan green. Yeah, green doesn't look weird. It doesn't look strange. We also did this portrait just now. This one was about maybe 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. The alpaca was probably about 20 minutes. And then this one I'll probably spend maybe 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, I actually really like the alpaca. Uh, Saminos, I hope you have a wonderful day. Yeah, Saminos, someone got me to swear. I don't know why. They, they wrote WTF. And I read it out loud, not as WTF, but as what? What the fire truck? Yeah, Panda Snake, that was a giveaway we did today. Uh, they tweeted me a picture, and then I just, I, I pumped it out. We pumped out that paint. And this is all digital today. Digital's a lot easier on my hands. Uh, so when I have a bad... A bad arm day, I'll do I'll probably do digital work. <gasps> Chipman! Chipman, I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you're hanging out with us. I might go for another 30 minutes. I want to finish this one. Alright, so we're working from the background forward. We're not worried about the tree. We're not worried about that landscape quite yet. I'm gonna get some more more fun strokes in here. So let's get more opacity and saturation. 13%. We're going to get a nice warm color here. A warm color. That's not yellow enough. Ori, I love palette knives. Uh, I also paint with my fingers. I do finger painting. Um, I do all sorts of, of brush work, di different kinds of brush work. And I love combining them together. Another thing I also combine together is I combine digital work with traditional work. I print it out and then rework it uh, with the acrylic paints or even oil paints. 
B. Bartles, thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. A wonderful rotation on this rock. <laughs> Sidorus, I actually muted it when I said that, so you guys didn't hear the, the curse word. <laughs> no giveaway. No giveaway unlocked today. <laughs> I actually really like that um, there's no swearing in this channel, not only because I don't swear, but it's also it also makes you guys not be uh, not be as trolly, I guess I would say, than other channels I've seen. It really helps keep it all about the art, keep it positive. So thank you guys so much for being incredible as always. Oh, Master CJ, thank you so much. You are an incredible status meatball. What if we can lip read? Oh my gosh. My god, you're you're a genius. <laughs> then I'm sorry if you can read my lips. I'm sorry. <laughs> Panda snake, it's happened twice. It's happened twice on stream. So very rare. Oh, Ori, thank you so much. Thank you. I do. I I love doing really loose and colorful stuff. I I don't like getting really tight and into the details. Sometimes I do. Like you can see, I have I have a bunch of portraits back there. Uh, you can also check in my my profile. It looks so weird. All about the kappa, and yeah, I have my kappa here. Got my giant kappa painting. I actually like how this one turned out. I don't know if all of you guys have seen it. Behind the scenes, boom! Yeah, this one was a little more realistic. Uh, it still was really playful on the colors, but I feel like I really got the expression down here. Where did I say? I'm not gonna tell you. You guys aren't gonna trick me. You guys can't trick me. Oh, Ori, do you also broadcast here on Twitch? I am a big supporter of all the other broadcasters here on Twitch. Fat Carrot, it's all about the Kappa. And if you guys didn't know, there's a Create a Kappa contest going on right now. Uh, not a contest. But it's a Create a Kappa project where we're getting all of the creative broadcasters and viewers to make their own version of Kappa. Take a look on that website. We have about 50 Kappa right now. About 50 Kappa and a bunch that haven't been submitted. And we're going to combi compile them all together into a giant mosaic. <laughs> nice, Dino. I cannot wait. That's going to be really exciting. Where'd my reference go? All right, let's get that to be a little more white. A little more white, and then we're going to fade the edge right there. Yeah, that's better. Uh, Twister, I love listening to video game music. A lot of the times we'll listen to ocremix.org, uh, which has a bunch of, you know, kind of techno versions. It has uh, dubstep versions, dance songs, uh, a lot of acoustic stuff based on video games. So some really cool, fun stuff. And Dino, did you do this painting just because there's green in it? Did you do this painting just because there's green you wanted to see what I would do. Well, look at here. Looky here. The painting green. What do you think about that? What do you think? And there's no music today. Unfortunately, my computer is it's failing today, and it was it was lagging my mic. And I felt like I want to bring you guys a high quality broadcast if I can. So if you guys need some background noise, please feel free to put some on. All 
right, let's get some let's get some of these crops in here. This actually reminds me of a painting I did uh in college. guys don't know UC Davis uh, is in California and it's kind of like an oasis there's no cities near it it's just farmland it's farmland everywhere uh twister I'm still working on uh, finishing it I'm not sure I'm not sure if I want to go back I think I want to fix just a few areas before I put it on online uh, and you guys have until July 31st until uh, until the caps are due What's up, Itziko? Making Bob Ross style videos? Yes, we are. We're having some fun interacting with chat. So if you guys have any questions about the process, let me know. We're having fun. That's the point. And I'm not going to go, I'm not going to try to make this super realistic. I'm going to have fun with it. That's how I like to usually paint. So sometimes my colors won't be perfect. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, not to be perfect. And what we're doing here, we started off with the background. We're working our way slowly forwards into the piece. That's how I recommend you guys paint. Uh, do the happy little clouds first. That's right, Sunny Amber. Do the happy clouds first, and then you can paint that landscape right on top. Um, I'm actually not quite sure what this is. It looks like it might be a wheat field or some kind of orchard. <laughs> Twister, I hope you have a phenomenal rotation here on this amazing planet we call Earth. You are incredible. Thank you so much for always being awesome and continually coming back, bringing that positivity here. You are amazing. Yeah, I'm not going to do so much green. We're going to have some green in here, but it's not going to be overwhelmingly green. I guess I'm, I'm, I'm doing a different perspective here. Uh, it's Ego. Yeah, they're really inter extremely entertaining. Here, hang on a sec. Extremely entertaining uh, to watch. Miss Cookies is always an, a pleasure to watch. She's also a really big supporter of the creative section and other streamers, so I always try to tune in. I actually raided her the other day uh, when she was doing her camping stream, but she was too busy having fun. Uh, uh, no, she did notice us. She did notice us. That's right. But yeah, if you guys don't know Miss Cookies, please give her a follow. Miss cookies that's with three o's and an i e z she is incredible we're working with her to make the creative stream team happen so just you guys wait if you're a broadcaster out there we're gonna be doing some stuff with the creative stream team here on twitch they're at the lake today that's awesome i'm, I'm kind of sad i missed that i saw them yesterday Saw them yesterday. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna finish up here. We're gonna do some shadows, and then we're gonna do all of the orchard and the fences and stuff. You look away for two minutes, and four hundred new things appear. Yeah, we're doing fast speed painting. I'm not worried about what it looks like. We're just having fun, going fast. And I'm not even worried about getting the colors perfect. That's not what this is about for me. It's about having fun and producing a lot of ridiculous and weird looking stuff. So some stuff might look weird. Like, why Why would I use blue trees? Why not? <laughs> Your medium is food. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Chipman. I, I hope you enjoy that stardust-filled meal and think about us. Are you a cook, a chip man? What, one thing you could do is, is broadcast your cooking here on Twitch. We need more cooks here on Twitch. Ori, I am 27 million years old. 
Your claws are looking good already. Thank you, Itsigo. We might go back and touch them up just a tiny bit, but... I'm trying to do a pass over the entire painting before I go back and do the details. Let's see how it looks. Oh, it looks pretty good, tiny. That's a really good way to see if, how your painting's looking. You can step away from your painting, or if it's digital, you zoom out a lot. Okay, so let's get this tree in here. Do you guys want to learn how to do a tree? Do you guys want to learn the trick to doing a tree? So first, find where that tree is going to start. We're going to start that tree right there. And then you want to grow towards the sun. No branches of the tree are going to grow 90 degrees or down at all. So you start off with the base of the tree, which is going to be boom, like that. And then it, the tree is going to split, so it's going to go... And it's always, it's always going to grow up. It's never going to go and grow down. You might have a tree that gets bent because it's too heavy, but you always want to start growing that tree towards the sun. And you start with the big branches first, and you can always make them bigger. And I'm doing this all on the same layer. If you're actually worried about doing this digitally, you can make a new layer. Uh, since I'm doing it fast, though, I'm not going to make a new, a new layer. I'm just going to paint right on top, but kind of a, a traditionally where you don't have layers. <gasps> Hagrid Mona, how are you doing, Hagrid Mona? And Panda Snake, yes, you didn't notice that, you didn't know that? Uh, one person that is really cool is uh, Domestic Dan. Uh, Panda Snake, you should definitely follow Domestic Dan. He does cooking here on Twitch, he is incredible. Uh, yeah, and Itzigo, I am on a tablet. Wacom Intuos 4 tablet. Amazing. An awesome tablet. You guys should totally look into getting one if you're an artist, because you can't do you can't do this kind of art uh, with a mouse. Not only because this has pressure sensitivity, but it also has tilt detection. So if I approach it from this way, it's going to make a different mark than if I approached it from the other direction. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here. How are you doing, Hagrid Mona? I'm so glad you guys are all here hanging out. You almost never use it. Uh, one thing I found is even if I used it for normal things, normal activities, like let's say browsing the web, or um, I used to play Diablo with my Wacom uh, tablet, um, do, even doing those kinds of activities is going to improve your, your ability to use it. So try, try it out. Try using it when you when you would normally use your mouse. Oh man, you used to do art with your mouse. I used to as well, but the first time I picked up that Wacom tablet, I was blown away by all of the settings, all of the things you could do with it. Oh, Sunny Amber, that's where I saw you. We were hanging out with Domestic Dan, I think it was. Domestic Dan made some oatmeal cookies the other day. Uh, he's made some beef stew. Uh, if you guys didn't know, please check out Domestic Dan. Hagrid Mona, they're terrible. They're doing terrible, but that doesn't stop me from being in a good mood, hanging out with you guys. Don't forget to stretch. Actually, it's 2 o'clock. Siri's about to remind me here in, in 30 seconds. You guys, don't forget to stretch out. Move your body around. Stand up out of your chairs if you can. Don't forget to stand up, move around, and stretch out. Stretch your body out. You don't want repetitive stress injuries like I have. Boom. Shake your hands out. If you're stuck in this position all day, you want to open your hands up and breathe. Don't forget to breathe. It's a go. Thank you. Thank you, man. You are you're awesome. You are a super meatball. Super meatball. All right, guys, don't forget to breathe. Let me take a moment to share this amazing breath with you guys and a, and a little cheers. So take a moment to really have that awareness of your breath, of your body. Ah. <sighs> 
thank you guys so much for being here. I really, really appreciate you. Yeah, Dino, don't worry. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. Oh, stretch out. You can do some really easy stretches. Boom. Boom. Cheers, it's a go. Yeah, don't forget to hydrate. Don't forget to hydrate. Do you guys want to do some tree? We could do some tree. Since we're painting a tree, let's do tree. Whoa. Whoa. All right, for tree, put your leg right there and grow. Grow towards the sun. Stretch. Whoa. Grow, keep growing, never stop growing. <sighs> wonderful, wonderful little yoga sesh. <laughs> I still have yet to clear, I still have yet to clear that action with, with Twitch staff. <laughs> I, send, I send emails to Twitch staff all the time, asking them really weird questions. That's one I have not heard about. Uh, back about yet is if you can do things like yoga, tai chi, meditation in the creative section. Oh, awesome, proper artists, absolutely. Oh, hello, Raven Queen. Hello. I see you. I see you, Raven Queen. How are you doing, Raven Queen? Wow, my mic can really pick up all those whispers. <laughs> How are you doing, Raven Queen? All right, we're going to get back into this. I'm going to finish up. We've got that trunk. We've got this trunk. This one's the biggest one. I'm going to make this a little bigger. And it splits. It splits right here. Boom. Boom. You're doing fine. How am I? I'm doing great. It is a wonderful day to be alive. I'm so ecstatic that I get to share it with you guys. I am so ecstatic. Every day is a new wonderful journey. It's it's so amazing to have that awareness of and all it's all because of you guys. That awareness and that positivity. It comes from you guys and all I want to do is bring it back into your lives. Show you guys that you can do painting, you can do art. All you have to do is try. Try, you amazing stardust meatball. JT Penn, how are you doing? Uh, I'm really enjoying this microphone. Uh, I'm really going to enjoy it when I start doing uh, traditional painting again. Because then I don't have to always lean over here to my microphone. I can actually just walk around. There is an issue, though, with the music. Uh, I can't play music at the same time. <laughs> Spaz Monkey, I do appreciate that, but we do try to keep it about the art here. Do try to keep it about the art. I hope you're doing well, Spaz Monkey. <laughs> so we're working on this tree. We're painting some happy trees here on this landscape. I'm almost done getting some of the, the feathered branch work here. It's kind of a deciduous tree. So it's got no leaves. Which makes it pretty easy, actually. So let's see how that looks. Oh, it looks perfect. Looks perfect. Beauty is art. Absolutely, Spaz Monkey. <laughs> We're going to get some shadows here on the fence work real fast. Boom. Art is beauty. Beauty is art. All things are true. Thank you guys so much for being here. I absolutely appreciate each and every one of you. Whether you're a lurker, a constant chatter, or you're new here. I'm Monkey on Strike. It is an honor to be in the Massiverse here with you guys. Uh, Ori, absolutely. I love art history. I'm not as well studied as I used to be. Um, I used to know all the artists and different periods and stuff, but I've forgotten a lot of that stuff. Uh, Dino, absolutely. All of these are going to be tweeted. Uh, if you if you did, if you got a giveaway today, Alpaki, uh, Will De Beef, and Dino, I'm going to be tweeting these out to you guys. Bacon bolts coming in here. Boom. 
How you doing, Bacon Bolts? How you doing? Are you guys feeling ready to raid someone? Are you guys feeling ready to raid? Because it is 2 o'clock, past 2 o'clock, actually. I'm going to get some shadows in here. We're going to get some shadows on the tree. <laughs> Art history is really cool, Ori. Art history is phenomenal. It's so much fun seeing all the different styles. Uh, I remember in art history class in college, everyone would be sitting there taking notes, and I would be sitting there drawing and doodling, inspired by the whatever period we were studying at that time. So I, I found a lot of inspiration, uh, especially from periods like uh, the Impressionist period, uh, post-impressionist period. I was really inspired by the, uh, the art history I, I took. Good and not much. Oh, awesome, Bacon. Awesome. Unfortunately, we're going to be ending here pretty soon. We're going to be ending here in just a bit. Man, if, if Dino did take this picture, you are a phenomenal photographer. I don't think he did, though. I think I found it on a, a pick dump. Pick dump website. All right, we, let's get some more of these trees in the back. Let's get this guy bigger. Boom. Make this guy big too. Cardinelli, how you doing? Yeah, and the impressionist style is so fun. Um, it's it's so light and playful, and what you don't realize is a lot of the impressionist paintings were painted uh, in under an hour, sometimes even less than that, because what they did is they would take their supplies outside and try to capture that sense of light, that sense of movement uh, in, the, in the, the landscape. And they would do it so fast. They would go outside and do five paintings in one, in one session. That's what people don't realize is they, they were fast painters. All right, so what we're going to do here, we're going to do a raid. Have you guys ever been here for a raid? Let me save this so it doesn't doesn't die on me and I'll, I'll be tweeting these I will be tweeting these drawing Mega Man's boss in biology class that's awesome yeah Monet is a great example of a fast painter Degas was also really fast all right guys let me see if you guys are ready for that raid if you could copy paste that in the channel we're going to be finding an artist, a musician, here on Twitch to go raid. Let's go down and find somebody. Find someone to raid. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, this guy. I've been waiting for this guy to do some art. I've been waiting to capture this guy. We're going in. Look at that love in there. Cardinelli, Dino Bacon, thank you guys so much for being here. Make sure you copy-paste that raid message. We're going in. We're going in. Here is the raid message if you guys missed it. Copy after the ellipse. Itsy go what burger. Thank you guys so much for being here. So we're going in. And wait for me this time. Wait for me to, to say that message, and then you guys all bring the heat. And don't spam it. No spamming, just say it once. So we're going in and wait for me. Wait for me, you guys. Let's go in and we're going to sneak in there, sneak in the back door. Be quiet. Shh, be quiet. We got to be quiet. We're going to go rape Nancy. And what we're going to do is say it once and then hit that follow button and give him an awesome, awesome follow train. Thank you guys again for being here. You guys are incredible. I'm going to give you guys a few seconds to get in there. Let's see, let's see if he'll say Stardust Meatball. 
and then we'll drop it in there. We'll see. We'll see it. Maybe it'll be a secret raid. Yes, you guys are amazing. Well, uh, Spaz Monkey, Ori, Mojo RP, Bacon Bolts, What Berger, DT Verde, uh, Dino, Raven Queen, Alpaki, JT Pen. Thank you guys so much for being here. You guys are all incredible, amazing human beings. I absolutely appreciate you guys coming here every day. I hope you guys enjoy him. He's a wonderful broadcaster here on Twitch. I hope you guys have a wonderful rotation. I'll see you guys tomorrow, noon Pacific. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And Dino and all of you guys who won, I will tweet you guys. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful day.